Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, today's item is a request. A lot of my items are requests. Uh, but this one uh, is a fun one that I was actually super excited about doing because Hon Sudan Yari is a, a relatively powerful item. Um, and if you happen to find it ethereal, you're in good luck because it is an extremely powerful mercenary weapon. Um, now, Hon Sudan Yari is extremely customizable and, uh, and that is really the amazing thing about Hon Sudan Yari. So when you think about Hon Sudan Yari, don't think about that it is, you know, a, a mid-tier spear. Don't think about the fact that it is a relatively slow spear. Think about the fact that it is just, you know, in general, very, very powerful. Um, let's go over the statistics of this and uh, and we'll talk about the, uh, the what you can use this for. So uh, right off the bat, we have a uh, two-handed damage of 107 to 217. Uh, it also has a strength requirement of 101 with no dex requirement, which is rather interesting. Um, it also has a level requirement of 37, which means that you could utilize this relatively low level. And, uh, and honestly, at level 37, it's probably the best thing you're going to be able to put on your mercenary uh, <laughs> for a lot of characters. Uh, we also have a uh, relatively slow attack speed, so even on an Amazon, it is at normal attack speed, which I believe um, on other characters it's a little bit slower. Uh, we also have a 200% enhanced damage, which does vary between 160 to 200%, so 40% variance there. Uh, we also have adds 20 to 40, which is very nice. It adds it uh, kind of just to the base, which is uh, which is which is modified by other effects. Um, we have 45% chance of crushing blow, which is just amazing. Uh, you're talking about a 45% chance to deal 25% of the monster's HP, uh, current HP, not max, in damage, um, and 12.5% to bosses, which means that this, this weapon really, really smacks um, when it hits a target. It doesn't even matter about the damage. The 45% crushing blow is going to be going off all the time for mercenaries, and if even if you are a, uh, a, a spear Amazon, it would be very powerful. I could even see using this on a whirlwind barbarian for the crushing blow. Uh, the crushing blow on this is rather amazing. Um, we also have three sockets, which is static. It always spawns with three sockets. Um, this can also be found in an ethereal version, and because of the repairs durability mechanic, uh, we do not need a Zod rune. So this will actually repair itself slowly over time, which is definitely nice. Um, it may not be a good item to use with an Impale Amazon, because the Impale Amazon is going to be stripping that durability really, really fast. Uh, but it will repair itself eventually, and, uh, and definitely will be a nice weapon to use. Um, so let's go over what you could put in the sockets, because I feel like that's the biggest thing here, right? So so if you did find yourself an ethereal Hone Sudan Yari, and, uh, and you wanted to use this on a mercenary um, at a low level, uh, what could you throw in the sockets just to, uh, to, you know, to make this worthwhile? Well, I mean, right off the bat, the easiest thing that you could throw in here is an Amrune. Um, it does not have lifesteal. So having an Amrune in there would definitely be very, very viable uh, to help keep your mercenary alive at level 37. Um, also, you could potentially put Shale Runes in there. So if you wanted to speed this weapon up, because it is relatively slow, um, you could stack in, uh, say, two Shale Runes in here to really speed it up to a much faster attack speed. Uh, this is going to be a really big boon for characters like Mercenaries and, uh, and Impale Amazons and whatnot, because you really want that attack speed to be higher. Um, you could also, theoretically, uh, once you get to a higher level, uh, you could throw other gems and things in here to make it even more powerful. Um, so, for instance, if I wanted to, I could beef up that Crushing Blow chance with a Burr Rune. Um, so I could bring this up from 45% um, Crushing Blow to 50-65% Crushing Blow. Uh, but, of course, I'm not going to put a Burr Rune in a level 37 item. I'm going to put a Burr Rune in a much higher level item, right? So we're going to want to upgrade this to the higher tier, and we're going to see what kind of um, what kind of damage we can get out of this. So we have a 149 to 304 on the um, Hoenn Sutan Yari Ethereal version, and, uh, and level uh, 37 with 91 strength, which upgrades to 
the 101 damage, 736 on the top end, 153 dex, 112 strength, and level 69 requirement. So a much higher dex requirement, a much higher level requirement, but also a much higher damage. Um, as you can see there, when I'm rocking Impale, I've got 12k damage on the top end for my Impale. And, uh, and if I was rocking Fend, for instance, I would have 7,028. And uh, even with something like Jab, which doesn't enhance your damage very much, I'm still doing 4,806 per attack. Uh, and Jab, of course, has three attacks, which is very nice. Um, the Crushing Blow combined with the Sockets is really what's going on here. Um, and I could, for instance, I could put a Burr Rune in there to increase the Crushing Blow from 45 to 60, 75%. I could also theoretically put a Low Rune in there to give myself another 20% Deadly Strike. If this was a mercenary, Deadly Strike might be uh, very, very nice, especially considering how hard this weapon hits. Uh, double damage bonus would certainly be very, very useful. Um, I could also theoretically uh, put an Um Rune in here, which would uh, which would help out a little bit as far as uh, the open wounds is concerned. And um, and basically what that's going to do is it's going to give me Crushing Blow along with open wounds, uh, which makes this a very effective weapon for killing um, you know bosses and even Ubers. This might actually be um, in the upcoming patch. We have, you know, the impale is uh, is going to hit every single time. Uh, it's a guaranteed hit now. So if you were to ro rock uh, Hone Sudan Yari, uh, say with uh, two shale runes in it and a uh, um rune, you would have 45% chance of crushing blow with a very nice uh, open wounds effect, um, and it would probably be fast enough that you could uh, you could utilize it quite well. Um, I would actually say an Umrune might be the best choice for this, and uh, and I know I have an Umrune just sitting around. Let me uh, let me grab it real quick. Yeah, here we go. So 25% chance of open wounds, and we throw that in there, and now we've got 40% increased attack speed, 200% enhanced damage, 20 to 40 added to damage, 45% crushing blow, 25% open wounds, and repairs durability. I would, uh, that would smack really nicely. And uh, you know what? Let's go uh, play around with it really quickly um, on uh, Eldritch the Rectifier, shall we? So I'm going to bring uh, my new Fend ability here, which, uh, of course, this is not PTR, so uh, I might not do so well. But as you can see here, uh, with Hone Sudan Yari upgraded and uh, and utilizing the, the very nice effects on this, it's not bad at all as far as damage is concerned. Um, it really hits quite nicely. Um, you can, of course, upgrade the non-ethereal version as well. Um, the non-ethereal version can be upgraded to the higher tier. And uh, to do that, you're also going to need the Pull Rune and the Lum Rune and the uh, Perfect Emerald. So let me grab a Pull, Lum, and a Perfect Emerald. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, upgrade the non-ethereal version. Ooh, not that one. So we go from 107 to 217. Uh, 101 Strength, level 37 to 74 to uh, 505 with uh, 163 dex, 122 strength, and level 69. Now, I do believe that the Ethereal Hone Sudan Yari is the superior choice because of the Repairs Durability mechanic, uh, but uh, but if you did find a Hone Sudan Yari uh, in the non-Ethereal form, it's still a very impressive weapon for a mercenary. Um, I would not... Um, shy away from it. Uh, if you found a Hone Sudan Yari around level 37, uh, this would probably be the best Merc weapon that you could find, uh, you could put on him, even if it's not ethereal. Alright, so let's take a look on a Silo's Pen, and let's see where you could potentially find a Hone Sudan Yari, and, um, you know, get your hands on one, right? So, uh, here we go, we got, uh, about 150% magic find. I feel like that's always a good spot to do these videos on. Um, and we're going to look at bosses first. And uh, according to this, the highest probability of finding this is, uh, is going to be Mephisto in Nightmare Difficulty. Um, all these are quest flags. I don't like to include the quest flags. Uh, unless it's Andario, because Andario's quest flag is permanently on for some reason. Uh, so and Mephisto in Nightmare Difficulty has a 1 in 784 chance, which is very, very nice. Uh, Diablo in Nightmare Difficulty is 1 in 818. And uh, Bale in Nightmare Difficulty is 1 in 848. So as you can see, not exactly a hard item to find with some relatively high probabilities. It will be hard to find Ethereal, though, so keep that in mind. Uh, let's take a look at Super Uniques and see what kind of probabilities we have on those. Uh, super Uniques. Bink, bink. 
Uh, so the Cow King in Hell has a relatively high chance at 1 in 2,786. Uh, Neolithak and Nightmare and Radamant and Nightmare, they're pretty close together. Uh, Neolithak in Hell, uh, the Cow King in Nightmare difficulty has a fairly good chance. Uh, Summoner, Radamant, Countess, they're all, it's all pretty, um, pretty similar. I'm seeing Shank the Overseer here, which is relatively good chance, and Eldritch the Rectifier both have a relatively good chance, which means you could very easily farm the two of those repeatedly. Uh, Doc Farron and Pendleskin also make appearances on the list, which are both relatively easy to farm as well. So I would imagine that a very easy thing you could do is in Nightmare Difficulty, farm Eldritch, farm Shank, farm Pindle, and farm Doc Farron, and you probably will get your hands on this item. Not bad. So before we finish, uh, let's talk about what characters this could be useful on. Uh, so obviously an Amazon who is using spears could get very good use out of this item. A mercenary, a Act 2 mercenary, could get very good use out of this item. Um, I also feel like this item could be fairly useful on a uh, Whirlwind Barbarian. Uh, I feel like Whirlwind could relatively uh, be relatively beefed up by the fact that this is, uh, you know, a very high crushing blow item, and you could stack on other effects like uh, Life Steal, Mana Steal, uh, you know, Crushing Blow, Open Wounds, uh, whatever it is that you specifically need on your Whirlwind Barbarian. I feel like this could be a useful way to uh, to add those effects on your item. Um, of course, you could also just stack Crushing Blow on this thing. If you were rich enough, you could just find an ethereal version. You could put um, several burrs in it, and you could literally be at almost 100%. What is that? Uh, 45, 60, 75. So one burr, 80, 95, two burrs. So if you put two burrs in here, you would be at 95% Crushing Blow, which is pretty amazing. Um, I would still want to put a Shell Rune in there to increase the speed at least a little bit, but 95% uh, but Crushing Blow is kind of nuts, and, uh, and Whirlwind doesn't care too much about attack speed because they get those extra hits if they keep their Whirlwind uh, short. If you've never heard of it, it's called the, uh, the Dance of Death, or the Whirlwind Dance of Death. Um, this could also potentially be used by a, um, a Charge Paladin, perhaps. Um, maybe instead of beefing up the attack speed, you could just simply beef up the damage as high as humanly possible. Um, you know, get the, get the top end as high as you can, and then of course you've got the crushing blow, um, and the repairs durability on there, so, you know, you'd have a really nice ethereal charger weapon for a little while. There may be better choices, obviously, but, um... But it's kind of hard to beat 45% crushing blow and three open sockets with uh, repairs durability on the F version. Uh, just a very powerful uh, spear all around and certainly not a bad spear to get your hands on in the ethereal form. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, uh, even when they are about uh, multiple sockets. And uh, <laughs> keep watching.